So I am packing up and shipping out. I'm moving out into my boyfriend's house. It's a massive moment for Chloe. At 25, she's finally flying the family nest. Packing everything up, it's just hitting me now how much of a big change it actually really is going to be for me. It is sad in a way, just because obviously you're leaving your family and you're not going to be around them every day. But at the same time, I think I'll be really happy in my new home. 23-year-old Jake is here to collect Chloe. Hey, hey mate, you all right, Jake? You all right, yeah, good. Come in, come in. Come in. Go in, kitchen. So she's just packing up the rest of her stuff. Um, and I think you're, you should get it all in the car. There's not much, to be honest. With so many kids, Noel and Sue have met their fair share of new boyfriends and girlfriends. Well, I wouldn't say we've ever... There's any been any that we've not got on not with. Not really... Not that we've really disliked, but no. some that you get that feeling that they're maybe not the one for your child, you mm. know what I mean? But which camp will Jake fit into? I think she's definitely found the one, Chloe. She seems really, really happy with Jake. They, they both seem really mm. happy, don't they? Yeah, they seem very... Which is lovely. ..very much in love and mm. very happy together, so it's lovely. Leaving home is a big deal for anyone, and the Radfords isn't just any home. <laughs> It's not just your ordinary family home, is it? Because to go from a house where it's just crazy to go into a house where it's just a couple of people, it's, um, it'll be different. But are you going to miss having sleepovers with me? No. No? Yeah. Yeah. So it is like my childhood home, really, isn't it? So it is sad leaving where you've grown up, but... Yeah, it's time. Am I your favourite? Yeah. Just always remember, though, if you let her down, you've got ten sisters. Yeah. <laughs> ten sisters to come pecking down yeah, your ear. That'll be in the back of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> With Noel's advice ringing in Jake's ears, it's time for Chloe to move out. Anyway, right, shall we go and see if she wants to lift with anything? Yeah. Go on, then. Chloe gone, there's a room sitting empty, but not for long. It'd be nice to be in a situation where we've got a house big enough for every, every single person to have a, their own bedroom, but we're not. For Noel and Sue, it's the start of a complex puzzle. The room would normally go to the oldest, so Luke should be next in line. But Katie thinks she deserves it too. I do think I should have it because I share with a lot. It is actually really difficult to try and organise who goes in what mm. bedrooms. Do you know what it's like? You move one person, it's like a domino effect, isn't it? Because everyone ends up moving around yeah. and moving and moving. Yes. It just keeps on going and going. Kate's the oldest one in that room of four. There's a lot of people in mm -hmm. that room. The simplest thing, we put Katie in there. They stay there, everybody else stays where they are. But I also do quite like the idea of Luke going in there. So we, we've had a look at the plan that we've done and we've come to the conclusion it is between Luke and Katie. They're going to have to basically fight for that room. They're going to have to do, like, a pitch. If they want that room, then their pitch is going to have to be good. Mum and Dad have spoke and they um, have decided that me and Luke have to do, like, a little challenge thing together to say why we want the room and why we deserve it. In this house, you're supposed to find quiet in your own room and that's not happening <laughs> right now. Luke shares with his younger brother, James. James, he's uh, quite loud. I need my own room so I can have quiet. Yeah, he is older, but he's only sharing with one. Katie shares a room with Amy, Ellie and Tilly. I should get the room, I'm very tidy. Hmm. If we had a Pokemon game, it would automatically give In us the attic, nine-year-old Oscar and eight-year-old Casper want to get in on the action too. They only share with Archie. <laughs> but he can make as much noise as three people. We should have Chloe's room. Because not only does there light work, but there's a TV in there. Noel and Sue are happy to entertain a last-minute entry from the boys. I'm like, I read it. Well, they want to be on the middle floor where it's it all happening, like, isn't it? You know? Where, where they're, they're in with the gang, yeah. aren't they? The older ones. Yeah. 
It's time for the competitors to make their case. First up is Katie. The Radford's eighth child, trainee childcare worker and passionate rabbit keeper. <laughs> so you're, you are here to sell yourself on why you should get that bedroom then? Let's hear it. I share with three of us. There's one TV. Can you imagine all the arguments at night over who's watching what? And I'm a lot tidier than Luke. <laughs> so I'll keep it cleaner. Actually, that is a agree. very good point. I yeah. would have to agree with that one. She's playing to the crowd, has a strong argument, and the judges seem impressed. I'm on your side at the minute, Katie, but I haven't heard Luke's pitch yet. Katie has made a convincing presentation. Can the second competitor do better and secure the room for himself? Up next, Luke. 20, fast food chef who loves to challenge his family. Hello. Hello. My name is Luke Radford, your sixth child. Right. I feel like I should have my own room over Katie because I share with James. <laughs> right. James is playing on his Xbox till two or three in the morning. Yeah. You just about to fall asleep and he like screams at the top of his lungs. It could level a house if screaming so loud. I think that could be easily cured because we could just, we just turn take the internet his Xbox. off. Well, Luke has one more killer argument. I am the eldest without a room. And so I am next in line. That would mean the five eldest in the house have their own room. Right. Which makes more sense. Luke's looking strong so far, but he has a weak spot. I mean, tidiness, what we're talking about here. Tidiness. Can he convince the judges he still deserves the room? See, there's only me you'd have to clean for, not me and James. Yeah, but it's your side of the room that's quite messy. Luke seems stumped by Sue's comeback. And the final pitch of the day... Hello! Oscar and Casper's wildcard entry. Oscar is an expert in dinosaurs and Casper loves chocolate biscuits. The, the beds are small, Archie always sleeps in the bottom. It's well, dark been... up there, we've been living up there for all of our life. And the third reason is that we that... Every time I'm waking up because Oscar's squishing me, I can't get any sleep at all because of him. Oh, Chloe's bed is big. <laughs> Do you know what? I think that you have done the better pitch out of everybody. The question is, will the boys' boisterous presentation sway Noel and Sue? Look how cute. Now it's down to the judges to decide. Um, I think Katie, to be, to be honest. Yeah. There's four girls sharing that room. It's a lot, isn't mm. it? But then Luke's older. He so is. really, he should probably have his own bedroom. But I keep going back to the same, he's only sharing with James. Mm. What about Austin and Casper? But them going in? Hmm. No. no. With the young contenders out of the picture, it's crunch time for the two remaining finalists. Well, guys, we have come to a decision. Uh, unfortunately, one of you is going to be upset. Final decision. Sorry, Luke, but Katie's got the room. Yes! Thank you. I have been robbed. But not this time. No, it's... It's took me 18 years and I finally have got my own room. So much privacy now. Yeah, my boyfriend, Jake, he is amazing. He's 23, so he's a bit younger than me, and he makes me laugh all the time. She's moved in with boyfriend, Jake. Yeah, I've never considered uh, living with anyone until I met Chloe. We just, we just get along, we just click. Apart from uni, it's the first time Chloe has lived away from her family. And it's just going to be great, the next stage of our life, isn't it? Mm. As a Radford, one question always pops up. By Chloe's age, Mum Sue was already a mother of three. So is Chloe <laughs> thinking about babies? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Well, actually, no, I do, want, I do want a dog. I think we're ready for it, so, yeah. He's excited too, which is a bonus. <laughs> Cheers to our future. Cheers. 